When we start thinking about how are we gonna market a property, we really have to step back and look at what's unique for that property. And for us, it's not one size fits all. We wanna make sure we're picking out and selecting marketing pieces that are gonna highlight the, the best features of these properties. We kinda of like to figure out what's important to the seller. Um, and we try to make this a good working relationship as far as expectations go. We have like a 175 point checklist of what to do to make your home show ready and for you to net the most money possible. It's a pretty robust plan. It's not just taking a photo with our, you know, with our iPhone when we were in the property and then putting on the MLS and hoping it'll sell in this crazy market. Uh, it's you know putting together HD quality photos. We have a 3D walkthrough tour through a camera that's called Matterport that you know, our company owns. One of the things that I think is really wonderful in our pamphlet of that is we really do give our sellers some options if we have an investor. Generally speaking, we have a peak program and then we have a summit program which gives a few extra things. Sellers have some choice and some autonomy in how they want their home marketed, where instead of it's not a one fits all, they have some choice involved. I think people love that. We integrate a lot of really creative technology and photography. You know, everybody can have great photos, everybody can have a flyer, but what are you doing with those to engage past that marketing? How is that connecting to online? How is that connecting to our website? How can we convert backwards for our sellers to help find them buyers, help them find the right people to get in their home? 3D tours for us are phenomenal because it allows a buyer to walk through our properties, be able to walk up to a fridge or a tile or see the floor and see the texture. And that's something that you don't necessarily get from online photos. The amount of exposure that a property needs is absolutely endless in this market. So I think one of the last pieces that's super important for a seller to understand is it's not necessarily all about the marketing. It's not about how your home is being perceived or seen online. It's what are we doing with that information? How are we being able to convert that into something that is meaningful to get your home sold for the top dollar? If there's one thing that I want our sellers to know is that we really truly do care. So everything that we're doing has a purpose and a meaning behind it, and we're here to walk you through that entire process step by step.